Okay, we're coming to you live from the festival grounds where they are assembling a number of relief supplies um, to be taken into the various districts uh, to be handed out to folks who are in need right now following the impact of Hurricane Irma. So we'll just take a look around to see exactly what type of supplies we have here that will be going into our communities. So far we're seeing water, we're seeing pampers, cornflakes, milk, cleaning supplies, sanitary items, everything that will be able to sustain life for until we're able to sustain ourselves. So right now we're at the main distribution center where a lot of government employees and some volunteers are working to get everything assembled and I understand that they will be taking it into the various districts to be distributed at the various districts so right now we basically just taking a walk around until we can get to speak to someone to talk about how the relief efforts are going on the ground one hour. Let's get the waters them separate. Give me nine waters. Give me nine districts. I said you said to two. Waters yeah, but we don't need them on the floor. Yeah, no problem. Um, water from here, we gonna go. Nine pallets for water. For water, we will evenly distribute it and we can. So as you see, it's like a all hands on deck approach following Hurricane Irma because when you look around, it's like nothing we've ever seen and I've been to two other hurricanes Hurricane Marilyn Hurricane Hugo I've never seen this level of devastation so right now people are basically in good spirits as they try to help each other um, to get back to a place of normalcy I'm not sure when normal will look like for us when normal is going to be but we'll get there with God's grace we'll get there so this is basically a tour of the operation so far going on down at the festival grounds as you see in the back there's one two three four five six seven eight I count at least ten at least ten trailers filled or partially empty uh, with relief supplies so we definitely want to help in terms of what's going on with the relief efforts and are the people actually getting these relief items. Hi, we're here with Mr. Joseph Bryan. Mr. Bryan, tell us who you are in relationship to this operation. So I'm the logistics and distribution coordinator for Rotary on the ground. Uh, as you would know, DDM and Rotary have partnered on the um, aid and distribution relief throughout the territory. So I'm one of the representatives on Rotary side. Okay, so tell us a bit about the operation in here today. So we received the largest aid shipment from uh, from the San Juan Navy or the Puerto Rico Navy, sorry, uh, yesterday. Uh, it was about eight forty-foot containers worth of stuff. Um, where the process right now first started with transport yesterday. We've got everything on site at our staging area at the festival grounds. The next uh, pro step in the process is all is pre-sort. So we pre-sort into categories so that we can catalog and inventory, and then we sort for distribution by district and then we do the actual dispatch for distribution. So yesterday we completed about, we completed the first set of phases, the transport, the pre-sort, the cataloging. Today we're mainly focused on distribution and as you can see around me, we've got uh, all the various dis districts um, allocations outlined and we're, we're just um, waiting for trucks to arrive so that we can load them up and dispatch them to their distribution centers. And what type of supplies do you have on them right now? So in, in general terms, we've got canned foods, um, we've got other types of food, um, cereal, flour, rice, that sort of stuff. We've got water and other juices, hygiene products, cleaning supplies, uh, baby supplies, pampers, food, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, we got uh, some construction material and uh, tarps as well. Uh, so it, it's a variety of stuff. We also got a, a huge container worth of clothes. Uh, that I think because because of our um, our network or, or what we're focused on, we're gonna find another distribution channel for clothes. Yeah. 
Okay, so in terms of getting the supplies to the people that really need it, mm -hmm. I heard that you said that you have sorted them by the districts, but mm -hmm. how will they get into the districts? How would the people on the ground actually get these supplies? So each district has um, official distribution centers set up. And Notice went out to tell people where the distribution centers are and the times that distribution will be occurring. So those are the official DDM distribution centers. If you need aid, that's the areas that you need to go. Um, so everything will be delivered to the distribution centers. And once you arrive at the distribution centers, aid will be delivered to you from there based on your needs. Mm -hmm. So you know we have on the heels of this right now, um, Maria yep. looming in the midst and you still have quite a number of supplies yep. in these containers. So what are you going to do to secure them? So the plan is to do inventory again on the remaining containers that we didn't unload today. Once we clear the first set of distribution, I think the aid that we've sent out should last through Maria. Mm -hmm. And then once we can get the inventory done before Hurricane Maria arrives, then as soon as it passes, we'll have another set of aid readily available to dispatch. So there won't be a need for aid to be flown into the country, then go through the entire process. We'll go straight to distribution. So that's the sort of prep that we're looking at. Um, we're also trying, from a rotary standpoint, trying to secure the shelters. Uh, so all the construction materials, they're not being distributed just as yet because we're focused on securing the shelters first. Mm -hmm. Once the shelters are secured, if your houses aren't secured, then you can always retreat to the shelters for the passing of the hurricane. Right. Right. Thank you very much for this. Thank you. Reporting for the Department of Information and Public Relations and the National Emergency Operations Center, I am Public Health Communications Specialist Natasha Letson.